Let's cross to the U.S. now, where President Obama has made health care reform one of his top priorities. The issue has been dragging on for months now, but the nation is still divided as thousands take to the streets and politicians debate the subject in Congress. R.T. Zinigazovsky has been following the story. What do we need? Healthcare. Where do we need it? Now. What do we need? For these folks, it's a matter of life and death. Should there be a massive health care overhaul? It seems no one can agree, including those in charge. Outspoken Congressman Ron Paul has become a celebrity, a leader in the liberty movement. Howard Dean is a former leader of the Democratic Party and once potential opponent to George W. Bush for the presidency. Both doctors, both politicians, both think they know how to fix health care. And for both, it's a question of moral. We are the only industrialized democracy on the face of the earth that does not have universal health care. That is foolish. They have the moral high ground because they use immoral tactics. People who think they can get free stuff from the government, they're kidding themselves. But all jokes aside, there's also the issue of cost. There's no way the government can expand their role in medical care and accomplish it without having a bigger deficit. It's not just like we're just going to spend all this money that we don't have. It's a transfer from other people that are spending it to the federal government. I think that's illegal under the Constitution. I think it's theft. That's an authoritarian approach. They, they don't believe in individual rights. They don't believe in freedom. They don't understand the market. But there is one thing that they do believe when it comes to passing what some call Obamacare. We're not going to lose it. We're going to win it. What makes you so sure? Because the American people want it. And eventually Congress does what the American people want, although sometimes it's a struggle. And speaking of the people, what did they want? And as a citizen of the United States, I think it would be fair if we all had um, free health care. Being fair is one thing, but how about footing the bill? Well, <laughs> less money on my paycheck. Oh, I don't know about that one. But I'm definitely against um, the health care plan that Obama's trying to push. And I think if he rams it through Congress, there's going to be an upheaval in this country that they've never seen before. As politicians continue to debate about what health care reform really means, the issue seems to be dividing the country. And some say it's only a matter of time until Americans get truly sick of all this health talk and start taking action on their own. And now the debate isn't just reserved for the halls of Congress, but in the streets of major cities and towns, things are heating up, possibly even striking a fever. For better or worse, in sickness and in health. Dina Gosofsky, RT, Washington, D.C.